Now, in this in this video, we are again going to make use of the properties of uh, proportion to solve the difficult equations like this. Now, if you have the difficult equation like this, and then you have to find the value of x, Componendo and dividendo helps us to do that, right? Okay, let's apply Componendo and dividendo. So applying Componendo and dividendo, what do I get? Numerator, which is x plus 5 plus under root of x minus 16 plus denominator. What is that? Under root of x plus 5 minus under root of x minus 16 upon numerator what is my numerator here again x plus 5 plus under root of x minus 16 minus denominator so this becomes minus under root of x plus 5 minus minus becomes plus under root of x minus 16 now here also Along the right hand side you have to write numerator plus denominator upon numerator minus denominator. Now this and this will go here, this and this will go. I am left with 2 under root of x plus 5 divided by 2 under root of x minus 16 equal to 7 plus 3 is 10. 7 minus 3 is 4. You can simplify this as 5 by 2. Now 2 and 2 will go. You are left with under root of x plus 5 divided by under root of x minus 16 equal to 5 by 2. Now in order to get rid of this under root you can square both the sides. What will you get? x plus 5 upon x minus 16 is equal to you are squaring this side also. Sometimes you make the mistake of squaring one side only and leaving the other side. So be careful. 25 upon 4. Right. Now here again we have a choice. You can either use the component and dividend part to get the value of x or you can simply cross multiply. Let's cross multiply. So I am getting 4x plus 20 is equal to 25x minus how much is 25 into 16? 33, 6 twos are 12, 13, 14, 15, 5, 2, 400. So this is 400, fine. So shift this here and this here. Here we get 420 equal to 25x minus 4x. How much is that? 420 is equal to 21x. So your x is finally 420 upon 21. 21 twos are and then this 0. So you got the value of x 20. Now you saw how simple it was. Right? How? By applying the component and dividend. Okay. Let's solve one more sum. Here we have to prove that the value of x is 3 by 2. So again we will apply, apply componendo and dividendo. Right. So let us apply numerator which is 3x plus denominator which is 2x minus 1 plus numerator plus denominator under root of 3x minus under root of 2x minus 1 divided by numerator which is under root of 3x plus under root of 2x minus 1 minus denominator. So minus under root 3x minus minus becomes plus under root of 2x minus 1 equal to. Now see here we have only 5. So sometimes students make the mistake of not applying componendo and dividendo here. Why? Because they feel that there is no denominator here. In fact, there is a denominator which is 1. So when nothing is given in the denominator, you have to take that as 1. So numerator plus denominator upon numerator minus denominator. Now here this and this will go. 
here this and this will go so you are left with 2 under root 3x x is inside the square root okay divided by 2 under root of 2x minus 1 equal to 5 plus 1 is 6 5 minus 1 is 4 2 3s are 2 2s are 2 and 2 will go you are left with under root 3x upon under root of 2x minus 1 equal to 3 by 2 now we need to get rid of this root so we will square both the sides so when you square both sides you will get 3x upon 2x minus 1 equal to don't forget to square this side also 9 by 4 now simply you cross multiply what will you get you will get 4 3s are 12x equal to 9 2s are 18x minus 9 shift this here and this here you will get 9 is equal to 18x minus 12x so 9 is equal to 6x so your x is equal to 9 by 6 3 3s are 3 2s are so you got the value of x as 3 by 2 so you have seen that componendo and dividendo is making your life easier now the last question same so we will apply componendo and dividendo here so that is numerator x plus 2 plus denominator that is x minus 3 numerator numerator this entire thing is numerator plus denominator now now the denominator will come x plus 2 minus under root of x minus 3 divided by numerator this whole thing that is x plus 2 plus under root of x minus 3 minus denominator so minus under root of x plus 2 minus minus becomes plus under root of x minus 3 again like the previous sum so we have one here so numerator plus denominator upon numerator minus denominator so this and this will go here this and this will go so you are left with 2 under root of x plus 2 upon 2 under root of x minus 3 equal to 4 upon sorry 6 upon 4 2 3s are 2 twos are so 2 and 2 will go you are left with under root of x plus 2 upon under root of x minus 3 equal to 3 by 2 now in order to get rid of this root we will square both the sides we will get x plus 2 upon x minus 3 is equal to don't forget to square this so 9 by 4 now we will solve it by cross multiplication so this will become 4x plus 8 is equal to 9x minus 27 shift this to this side and this to this side this will become 27 plus 8 is equal to 9x minus 4x this is 35 equal to 5x so your x is equal to 35 divided by 5 5 7 so your x is equal to 7